everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Graph. Thank you for watching this week. So the scrapbook layout I'm going to be sharing today is one from a trip that I had back in 2015 when I went to Borneo. I went to Sarawak, which is the Malaysian state of Borneo, and visited the amazing orangutan kind of sanctuary. So it's a protected forest, huge, huge, huge forest. And it's where they've got not necessarily rescued, but it's just a part of the forest which is protected. So it can't be, you know, they can't chop down the trees, they can't build on it, they can't do anything. Now, this place is just so special. They are completely wild. You go there, you are never guaranteed that you'd even see any. And that is the kind of thing I wanted. I wanted to go somewhere so that if I did get the chance to see them, I'm seeing them in their, in their natural habitat. Now, we were extremely lucky because when we arrived and the ranger... You go in small groups and uh, we arrived and the ranger just said to us, you know, you need to keep your voice down and um, just take things easy. Don't try, you know, no running and things like that. That's fine. So we're walking down the hill and then all of a sudden, Richie, who is the huge orangutan that you'll see in the picture or that you've already seen, just walked right across our path, just really slowly. And it just completely caught me off guard. I stopped in my tracks I couldn't get photos. Not, I wasn't even thinking about that. It was just one of those kind of magical moments that I just will always remember. So if anybody ever asks me, what was a, you know, a special experience for you? This is up there because it was just magical and it made me cry. And just to see this amazing, huge, gracious animal just walking right past you was incredible. So anyway, that's just a little bit of background towards, uh, you know, of these stories. Um, <laughs> that's a background of the pictures that I'm sharing today. So you've just seen me there kind of sharing the photos. And basically what I've done is I have just not long ago got a new Cricut machine. So I've been playing around with it and I went and die cut lots of different leaves. And when I peeled off the the kind of the card from the, the sheet that you get, it had this great kind of stencil. So I thought I would use that to start creating the background for my scrapbook layout. So you'll see here, I'm just bringing in different distressed oxides. I think I used uh, pine needles, um, forest, something forest, what was it? Mowed lawn, no, that was it, evergreen, shabby shutters, all those kind of colors. And I'm just basically, with that one there that you've seen now, I just kind of done two different colors. Then I'm bringing in this one and I'm coming in. This was the, I think it was the mo. no, it's not. Must have been the evergreen, I think. Anyway, and you can see I got really nice results with it. So I was, I thought when it came off, I thought, actually, I, I don't want to waste that. I, th I think I'm going to, you know, use it for my background. So I didn't go right to the edges. There's some white parts and things like that. But you'll see me now start to kind of distress that a bit more and kind of cover that all up. Because the, the whole thought process behind this layout is I wanted to feel like I was back in the jungle. <laughs> so I wanted the layout to make me feel like I was back there again, because... If you ever get the chance to go to Borneo, it's just an incredible place to be. So I'm just, yeah, I'm so happy that I got to, you know, experience that. So this layout, I just wanted to be very green. I wanted it to be really, really full. And yeah, just with lots of texture, it's very 3D um, and it's come together. I'm looking at it now. It came together really well. So these are the photos. You can see them a bit closer up now and I'll go through the names. So this is Richie. So like I said, he's the one and he had gone away for three months. No one had seen him. He'd gone deep into the forest and the ranger said, you know, he'd already spoken about Richie and said that, you know, he's our biggest um, orangutan that we have. You might not see him. He hasn't been seen for a long time. And even the rangers were really surprised, like shocked and happy and they were getting excited. And it was just it was just a great experience. And then like other groups of people came later on. And Richie, by this point, had gone back into the forest again. So those people, we were saying to them, we got to see him and they were like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe we missed it. This is amazing. So, again, it was just a really lovely moment. So for at this point, I thought I'm not going to use all of the photos. I thought I'm just going to do one layout and have the picture of Richie right in the middle. Um, this picture was I did zoom up quite a bit this one was just taken on my phone so it wasn't great i got other pictures which we i used with my my actual you know proper slr camera but this one um yeah i just had my phone at that point because he didn't stay around for long he came down to get a load of fruit that they'd laid out and then he kind of disappeared back into the forest now the other ones that you see they are normal like um that's how close i got to them so these uh, you've got here this is uh Sudoku's the mother 
So she's the larger one. And then you have um, Annalisa, who's her daughter. So she's the slightly smaller one in front. You'll see when I flip this one over. So the little one there to the left, that's Annalisa. And then you've got Sudoku, who's the mum. And that's them closer in the bigger picture. So Annalisa's on her, the back of her mum. And then that's them, the bottom left is them both playing up in the trees. So we've really got to kind of, you know, see lots of them. They hung around for quite a while and they walked very close to me. Um, the ranger said that it was okay. He said, just don't make any sudden movements. Don't scare her and just let her walk past. And she did. Um, so again, I just couldn't believe how lucky I was. So I'm just going around now. I've just distressed all the edges of the layout. I've used my Dovecraft distressing tool. And now I'm starting to bring in all these leaves. Now I did off camera go and distress them all. You saw me rolling them a little bit just to kind of create some shape. The brown leaves come out really, really well and you'll see them better in the pictures at the end, but they really did look because there was like the, you know, there was the dead leaves on the floor. So they were quite brown and you had the real lush, wet, you know, um, like jungle feel of the leaves in the trees. And I just wanted to kind of create that. So I, I've just filled these photos with leaves surrounding them and I think it looks really nice so you'll see now I'm just using my hot glue I just wanted something that was just gonna be quick really because there was a lot to do with this layout um, and I just think every time I look at it it just I love it I really like this and I that's the whole point of doing scrapbook layouts is for me anyway it's to make the person that maybe looks through this to feel like what it was like to be there and I know it's only paper but I hope you can kind of get what I'm trying to say is you know, we were in the forest and it was just amazing. So, as I said, we were in Sarawak. So Borneo is is two states. So you've got Sarawak, which is the Malaysian state, and then you've got Sabah, which is the Indonesian state. So we were in Sarawak um, and uh, that's what I'm spelling out there. So these are just some cork alpha stickers that I've got. I don't know where they're from. I've actually had them quite a long time and they were just in a plastic bag. So, yeah, I want to say probably somewhere like the works or the pound shop. It might have been the pound shop. Anyway, they were a little bit lost because they're quite thin just directly onto that paper. So I'm just bringing in some green washi tape there and then I go and stick them down. It just helped them lift up a little bit. Really easy. And these ones are super sticky as well. So I didn't need to put any like extra glues or anything on the back of them. But I just thought that cork kind of textured lettering worked really well with this layout. And that particular wording fitted perfectly. So now I just went along and laid out my stamping up. Um, alphabet label st stamps. <laughs> um, I've got the word Borneo there. So I'm just cutting that down. I smudged it up a little bit as well, just to keep it distressed and kind of, you know, I don't really want a lot of white in this layout at all. So I'm just messing up all those corners and I use the distress tool on it as well. So um, yeah, again, you'll see that in the photos at the end. It's It's got a lot of yeah, a lot of distressedness to it. So I'm just sticking down there. So it's Borneo Sarawak because again, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty good with my geography now. I've, like I said, I have traveled quite a lot around the world. So, um, yeah, it's um, look it up. Have a little look anyway, if you are interested. So then I got went ahead and I stamped Richie, Annalisa and Sudoku or Sudoku. And again, I'm just going to cut those down, distress them and give them a bit of a ink up with the it's the frayed burlap distressed oxide. I like that one for just messing up the edges and stuff. So there were I mean, this didn't take too long to do. The most time consuming part was that stenciling actually at the beginning. This kind of part was really quick because I obviously the Cricut machine, which I love, just cut all of those leaves out so quickly. So it was, yeah, great. So now I'm just sticking these all down. Again, names, I'm pretty good when it's a moment that I will always kind of treasure. So I probably would never forget these names, but you never know, many, many years down the line, I would get very frustrated if I couldn't remember. So there we have Richie, Annalisa and Sudoku. So then I was going through my box of subtitles there, which I love, and I've pulled out three. So I've got Opportunity of a Lifetime, which that is for me. I doubt very much I will probably go back, especially not to there again. I may well, I'd like to think I'd be able to see, you know, them more orangutans in the wild, but I doubt I go back to the Borneo. So Opportunity of a Lifetime, Moments You'll Never Forget, and Not Just Another Day, because that wasn't, that was just epic <laughs> it was incredible so i'm just sticking them all down i distressed them um, exactly the same way as i did before so they, they i think i wanted them to just blend in really nicely i didn't want them to really stand out again i didn't want lots of white so i've kind of i, th I think i've done that like i said I've, i think this has turned out really well so that's all of those now stuck down and that brings me to the end of the layout so i'm bringing in the this is like a really nice greeny gold nouveau drop 
again i i know <laughs> nuva drops in a you know jungle themed layout but i just like them just adds a bit more texture and just a little bit of shine and uh, that's the end of the layout and i absolutely loved it now i did also add in you might see it close up in the photos in a minute but to the bottom right not right now but in a minute i put 2015 and i just stamped it and you can see it there in the bottom right hand side just again to remember that year and i'm going to try and do that a bit more on my layout it's just a little date in the corner and look, they just look lovely the green leaves i think just turned out really well and um i just love the all the distressed look around the photos there you can see it just really messed up you know i didn't want this to be neat um i just wanted it to be really rustic and i yeah i think i've managed that with this layout so i hope you've enjoyed my little story there it was nice to sit down and kind of reminisce and remember that day and i will be back again next sunday with another layout thanks for watching bye Thank you.